on another episode of Here to the Streets. Um, we have someone here that um, before I met him and got a chance to work with him, I didn't really know too much about him. But uh, after that, I actually checked him, checked him out, checked out his music, checked out his portfolio, and I'm actually be start starting to become so, uh, somewhat of a fan. So, NPR Richie Rich, how you doing, man? I'm good, man. We living, we blessed, man. We taking it day by day and trying to make the dream come true. Definitely, definitely. I appreciate you coming through, man. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. Facts, facts. We here. So, um, let's just start from the beginning, man. Um, let's get into it. You, uh, you're from the west side of Detroit. Yeah, west side of Detroit, Plymouth and Greenfield area, to be exact. Wow. Okay. So, Plymouth and Greenfield, like. I'm from Detroit, so I know the area. That's a rough area, but for the people who are not familiar with the inner city of Detroit, like, just give us like a backstory on on that neighborhood and how it was growing up during that time when you were a kid. Yeah, well, in that neighborhood, um, Plymouth. I mean, if you don't know it, um, it goes by P Rock as well, like, or they talk about the exit, which is Exit Ten. Um, pretty much like growing up over there, it was, I don't know how different it is to everybody else area they grew up in, but it's rough just because it's Detroit and there's certain areas and certain things you got to roll with what's going on with knowing the do's and don'ts, just like I'm pretty sure is anywhere in the world. You got do's and don'ts, you got streets, you got different people who do different things and you don't really involve yourself with certain things unless you know you're trying to get into something messy so it's just as rough as anywhere else to me because i grew up there so i can't really say if it's the worst or the worst but hearing from what other people tell me and from where other people are at it's like dang y'all really had to go through some things you know what i mean from small fights to big fights to gun fights to all of the genres of stuff that you go through and you experience coming up. Right, so um, what were like some hobbies that you had like when you were a young kid, like growing up in Detroit, um, you were around street culture, you were around sports, you were around like so many different things that like a, an impressionable kid could get into. So what were like the, the type of hobbies uh, that you had when you were growing up in the city? When we was coming up, um, a lot of the things we did was basketball, we rode bikes, you know, and in and, and that area, we was like trick bikes, so we was tricking bikes out, um, getting the, the bikes, converting them into elongated bikes and making them like all fancy, putting steering wheels. We just was going crazy with that area, but the main thing we did was play basketball, and then as we got a little older, about 12 to the teenage years, we started gambling and shooting dice, and that was like, our big hobby then so that was like the main portion of what I remember like in that phase like we just were shooting dice a lot of times if we weren't doing that we was at the basketball court or in the street hoop right um you weren't into music at all back then like as far as like maybe like making music nah I never really made music back then like I didn't get into music until later on in my life but we would do little freestyles here and there just just because that's what you do as a young bull trying to grow up. Like you watching everything. We watched major artists do what they do. So we emulated it as a young kid, but I was never really into the music like that. I never thought about being a rapper. Okay. So um who who did you who were you raised by uh growing up? Like were you raised by did you grow up in a two parent household? Uh how was your parents' relationship? Um, it was more of a one-parent household um, in the beginning. At a super young age, it was my mom. Then about like five or six, maybe, it went to my dad. And then after my dad, it went to my grandmother. So it was always a single-parent situation, and we kind of kept it going from there. Okay, so you, your parents, like, they kind of, they were never together, like, during your life? No, nah, never okay. together. Do you know why? Um, they had got a divorce when I was young, like so I was probably too small to even remember. But that's when they really had went into their divorce and they were separated. They was always on and off, but it was so much complication in their relationship because I got three older siblings and they kind of went through that phase. And by the time it came to me, it was like 
a breaking point. Right. 